All right, we're gonna visit for the finity. Finish the desert stage. The spring is going to shoot you back. All right. Oh, and feel free to get some more points too. Now I think about it, we can actually go back and try and get that 10 pack. I mean, after all, it does count for 100% anyway. Alright, um, I hope, did not, hope that did not just screw me over. Can I make that jump? Alright, well that screwed me here big time. Oh well, too bad, huh? What is that sound? Oh yeah, these things are also timed. They want to move quick on them. What's this do, I wonder? Cool. Um, if you look over there, you can see a little cave, and that's where um, one of our missions is going to take place. I completely forget how to get over there. Maybe we're supposed to, like, um, activate a switch over... I'm going to have to activate some sort of switch over here or something. Watch out for these, um, geyser thingies. They're going to blow you off, of course. And those and those boxes you do not want to be destroying yet. Destroy the enemy spawner. Alright, I think it's this what you gotta hit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. This mission is basically hopping on um, springs to the goal. And on this spring you can you're able to hop over here and get this fifty pack. Alright then, that's why I didn't want to destroy it, so you have something to stand on. Well, actually, you didn't really have to stand on it, but it's fun platforming. Whee! It's fun to collect it going down like that! That! Stage complete. Well, not the main state mission story mission, but this mission stage place or whatever. All right, but now clean that mission. Open us up a new mission. Well, of cartwheel. Super cartwheel. Patrick's angry. Indeed. Warp point. Now. This is a bungee mission. You're basically um, hanging by your underpants on a bungee rope, destroying targets. Destroy all the targets to beat the mission. The only challenge to it is avoiding these hazards. And you also want to be collecting your points too, because once 
all the targets are gone, they will take you to the goal. So collect all the points before destroying all the targets. I guess they only take you to the goal once you hit them, once you push the B button and destroy them all. SpongeBob, you're so gay. Alright then, let's move on. And we can teleport back here whenever we want to. And we can only go that way anyway. And it blows up the wall, blocking our way. Booyah. Now we're in this little section with a bunch of geysers. Now, if you look right up there, Patrick is standing on a very small ledge and he's about to fall. He fell, and y'all got to see it too. We don't want to be going that way yet because we're gonna do a um a mini game um it's a block mini game. It's um, for Patrick only, and it's really fun to play. Because it's basically um, hopping on a bunch of blocks that certain types of blocks trying to make your way to the to the goal. You are also timed, and not only that, there are secret treasures in these stages. Wait, okay, from what I can remember there were secret treasures here. Not really sure about that, but I know one thing, there are points. Do you want the points? These blocks come in many different forms. This is just the, um... The, nor the normal form, where they're just basically men around. And junk. And there are also checkpoints, so don't worry. But I believe your time will continue, even if you die and restart a checkpoint. Just like Sonic Unleashed, which sucks. These are spin blocks. They either spin really slow or really fast. Some blocks spin and stop, but some spin like forever and ever. And here is some turn blocks. And, um, I believe there was a secret treasure there. But I remember there was. Maybe I'm thinking of a different one. But you want to be careful when it comes to the spin block, to the turn blocks. I can see some points, so other collectibles will move along with them. That was gutsy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens if you die. It's really funny to watch. The little, the little uh, real world hand thingy that takes things or whatever. See, I really like these because, because of all the neat platforming. Now, was there a secret treasure on that block? I remember one of these blocks found a secret treasure. Eh, yeah, whatever. I'm running out of time. Uh. Thought I might have saw something. These are vanishing blocks. Oh yeah, see that giant block over there? This is kind of cool. The gimmick for this place is... It gets trapped inside that giant block over there. And the way they challenge you is that they make you really dizzy. 
But just focus on the path you're taking and you'll be alright. Do not get too dizzied out by the giant spin block. And it vanishes, of course. 